What it do? Y'all want some more of this medicine, huh? I'm gonna feed you prescription. That's what you're gonna get. I'm gonna feed you prescription. Y'all been asked for this medicine, but I'll tell you what. I'm gonna talk to these college coaches. You know, I know the parents be thinking I'll be taking shots at them and trainers and, and high school coaches and nah. This one for my college coaches. Some of my best friends college coaches, man, that I look at like brothers, man. That 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 I've mentored and they mentored me. But I tell you one thing that this coronavirus is doing. We're going to see what you about here in a minute. Because a lot of y'all throwing out these offers. Hey, we love you. We appreciate you. We thank you for every offer, coach. Appreciate you for believing in my kid. As soon as my kid try to commit, though. Hey, coach, we full. Or, uh, we not going to take his commitment. Better be ready for that, coach. That's one thing about it. Everybody happy. You know, some some parents and some kids think like these coaches that's out here offering a lot of kids, like they offering anybody. They not offering anybody. They offering most of the kids of who they want. That's who they offering kids that can come in and be program changes. They not a lot of y'all think it's favors. Like I got people to hit me up. Hey man, can you hit up so and so see if they offer my son? No, I see if they evaluate your son. I see if they don't know you like that man to call in that favor. Yeah, I gotta say them favors for me. Back to the subject. Like I said, you call it coaches. Some of y'all out here, some of y'all are off of 70, 80 kids in the last month or two. And some high school coaches, you can't pull that wool over their eyes. Some of these coaches got a lot of clout, got a got a got a got a big reputation. People gonna follow them. I mean, you might end up on a blacklist. I got a blacklist. You know. Some schools came off of it because the person that put them on the blacklist no longer works there. The blacklist is a coach that did that, that's done a kid wrong. You know what I mean? That's done a kid wrong, man. Like what, what, what happened with my boy Stacy Sneed, man. I couldn't let that. I, I, that hurt me, man. Cause he a great kid, and I'm not the only person that was involved in his recruit. I didn't help Stacy until uh, the school that he was committed to pulled the stunt that they did. That's when I got involved. And uh, and I wanted to make sure, you know, I know my boy Houston loved it. I made sure my boy Juice took care of him. But that's how you get on the blacklist. So, coaches, what I'm telling you is, don't get on the blacklist, man. Like, it's you offer Lancaster kid, see the head kid. That kid try to commit. Hey, coach, we can't take his commitment. You're going to get on that blacklist, man. Coach Man going to go on Twitter and get after you. Coach Gill going to go on Twitter and get after you. And they know a lot of people, man. You know, it's not so much with me. I don't trip on that. Um, I don't. I don't really trip trip on on the. You know, because I understand people fill up and stuff like that. But man, when when they when they coach them kids five days a week, sometimes six during the season, they see their kid every day. Man, that's a different relationship, man. Like like I got a different relationship with the kids that play on my seven on seven team than the kids who I help with recruiting. This by far. And I hate to say it. But I, I've I've been out of town. I've been on the road. I've I've spent seven eight hours at a, a, a seven on seven tournament with this kid. I fed this kid. That's a different animal, man. Like you get a you get a different type of passion about helping a kid like that, man. And so I understand what he what some of these high school coaches coming from. But like I was trying to help one high school coach. He hit me up. Hey, coach, can you help me with this kid recruiting? I said, sure, I got you. I said, uh, what's his sale number, man, so I can hit him up since he's not on Twitter? Oh, let me get it from, from another coach. Say, man, if that kid played a position that you coach and you ain't got his sale number, come on, coach. What type of coach are you? Come on, coach. And I ain't saying you got to have conversations all the time, but come on, coach. You ain't helping that kid if you ain't got that kid's cell phone number, man. You coach the kid. You see him every day. Hey man, if I coach if I coach you, I got your phone number. If I if I if, every time I've worked at a school, say man, because I'm gonna be the one texting the kids while you're not in class, you know, why you post this on, on IG, why you post this on, on Insta, I mean on Twitter. Come on, man. If you coach that kid, man, five, six days a week, man, you gotta add that kid phone number, man. But I gotta stop rambling back to the subject. Coaches, don't think they finna let you make it, man. Cause some of y'all finna get tested. And some of these kids I heard with, with, with one or two offers, maybe three. And they finna try to pull that, they finna try to pull that trigger and commit without being on campus. Y'all let these other kids commit without being on campus. So I don't wanna hear that. Uh, 
hey, we want to get to know him and get him on campus. Nah, you ain't tell the six three receiver that. You ain't tell the six five old lineman that. You offer this six foot wide out in this five eleven corner that want to commit. Nah, coach, I need to know why you ain't take that commitment. And then you need to call his head coach and tell him why. Tell him why. Don't just tell the kid and duck and hide or talk to the parent. Call his coach. Cause I'm telling you, when you walk through them doors, it's gonna be a different attitude. It's gonna be a different monster waiting on you. And 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 I'm gonna tell you, Texas. It's a lot of coaches that don't like what I do. You know, I know. I don't. I don't who cares? Um. But a lot of coaches do rock with me, you know, and they and I talk to them all the time, and and they, you know, they'll they'll share that information. Hey man, we don't fool with this guy. Like today, we got a little group chat. They was like, hey man, this school don't even walk through the door. They offer kids all over the city, but we never see them come in the door. Say so, man, some coaches and some people they want to know who the hell they sending their kid to, man. For real, man. For real, I'm gonna tell you why New Mexico. Why New Mexico doing so good? Because Jason Linsmeyer, I told somebody this not too long ago, and it's, that's my partner, but Jason Linsmeyer can recruit. He going to develop a relationship. He already been, he'll go in any high school. Because I used to tell Linsmeyer, like, why you going to Molina? He'll call me when I was coaching at Kilmer. Hey, I'm on my way. I'll be on my way when I leave Molina. Boy, what you doing in Molina? Hey, man, you never know. I swear he used to tell me that. I swear he used to tell me that. You never know. I'm telling you, some, some of these coaches... They rock. They, they trust Linsenmeyer. They trust Warheim. Warheim, coached at Houston. Sam Houston, coached at Texas. He know all these Texas coaches. That's the reason a lot of these kids, you know, they letting them commit to like a New Mexico over over other places because they know the staff. Some of y'all, some of you college coaches, got to get out here and get to know the staff. Don't wait and see us at the college coaching convention and try to buy us a beer because we sitting in the bar. Come by the school and sit down and stay more than 15 minutes. And the other thing, watch younger kids. That's how you get. You want to get DJ Man on your side? You want to get Dunkerville on your side? Watch them babies. Watch them babies. Stop stop saying, well, hey, now nah, you know, we really not on that class yet. So when you get on that class, you got a head start. You better watch them babies. I'm telling you. But, hey, college coaches, it's coming. I'm telling you. I'm, and I'm gonna be ready for it on Twitter. I'm gonna get that first like in that first quote and retweet to see to see y'all to see y'all on the on the on the on the blacklist. Cause I've been on the blacklist in some high schools. You know what I'm saying? I like when when uh when I call and get my and get my uh credentials. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I call and get my credentials. I can't say coach over recruiting. I tried that at first. Yeah, coach over recruiting. I'm coming to cover some kids. Denied. Denied. Mm mm. That ain't happening. You got to play the game, just like I had to play the game. So we finna see right now. I'm ready for it. I want to see what college is going to be first. Hey, you ain't got to listen to me. I'm just an out-of-work coach. Got ran out the game.